Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Let's Play Dungeons of Dreadmore with Soon. So, let's see if we can finish out this level and go ahead and head down to level two here. I'm trying to check to see if I sold everything I wanted to before we go on here. I do want to hang on to this sapphire. Source of 10. I remember looking at something saying, oh yes, I need to do that. I think I was looking at this staff and let me see here. Probably should have got my shit together before I hit the record button, right? <laughs> so, ah uh, yes. This is what I was looking at. But I need a level before I can do that. Oh, and it's zinc, not tin. So I have to keep an eye out for that. I think I threw a piece of zinc away at some point. But if I see it, I will definitely grab it. So, I don't know if you guys have had the chance to watch my uh, killing floor video that I put out. Oh, nice. There's a reagent I won't need to get. Here's another shop. I totally called that a bunch of shops right next to each other. Clock over clockwork. Clocked work power limb. It's an interesting item. I don't think it's worth that price though. That is a good ring though. Mm -hmm. Not a bad pair of robes. Oh, hello. Small crossbows, only 218. Um, I do have a ton of bolts. I'm going to hold off on that, though, just in case I find one, because I haven't finished clearing out the level. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you guys have had a chance to watch that video, but if you have, um, I did reference um, basically a lot of things. I'm sure... You guys had no idea what myself or my friends were talking about, but basically, oh, this, what's this? Is that a little quest tracker? That's new. All right. Um, but yeah, we uh, we made some references to some things. You guys probably had no idea, so I'm just gonna do a little bit of explaining which is also going to turn into story time, so, um, basically, uh, we mentioned somebody named Manfred, and Manfred's a long story, but we've got time, right? <laughs> so, uh, where to begin? So, I don't know if you guys have heard of PAX which we also mentioned, which is the Penny Arcade Expo. Well, it's basically a game of convention if you haven't heard of it. And you should check it out if you have no idea what I'm talking about. That looks pretty heavily guarded. I don't know if I want to get hit by those guys. Um, I'll have to come back to this in a second. But yeah, we, uh, we've gone to PAX um, two years in a row now. Uh, we didn't go this year, but we went uh, a couple years ago, and then last year we went. But the first year that we went, uh, we were all pretty heavily into playing Left 4 Dead 2. And the game was, oops, the game was fairly new. Uh, Around, around the time of the first PAX and they happened to be doing a, a tournament and we were like oh yeah that'll be fun and the tournament was like uh, starting I don't know midday Saturday ish uh, so yeah we we only had three of us at the first PAX the second PAX we had uh, we had four people, but anyway, we do this, uh, or we sign up for this tournament, and the guys are like, telling us, oh, well, 
you know, you need to have a fourth person by the time the thing starts, but you can definitely sign up now and then it'll give you time to find a fourth person. So we asked him if there was like anything they do, like if somebody like shows up looking for a group, you know, what happens then? They say, oh yeah, we do that all the time. So, you know, we'll leave your guys' name up here or whatever to join a group. And we're like, okay, cool. So we go away and we check back in like an hour and nobody's really been looking for it. Like most people have already had four people. So as we're about to leave, uh, we get approached by this, uh, <laughs> this little kid. And I'm not joking about his age. He was literally 12 years old. So <laughs> he's telling us that, you know, he's looking to play, but he's just by himself. And he's got this this woman with him, which we we never did figure out exactly who she was supposed to be. Uh, definitely was not his mom. Uh, it almost reminded me of like if a if a rich kid's parents didn't want to be there with him, and like they they have like a I don't want to say a servant, but like a I don't know, almost like a housemaid kind of person. That's basically what she was, uh, escorting this kid around. So, anyway, we we got to find out from him that his name was Manfred, and oh, man, my inventory's full. I don't need this salt. Ah, there we go. So yeah, we decided to, you know, let this kid on our team because. You know, he he was telling us that he'd played before and he was really good, and we're like, okay, yeah, sure, whatever. And you know, because we just wanted a fourth, because we were pretty good at the game. I mean, we whenever we played online, we pretty much just smashed anybody we played. Critical hits. And the hell? Oh, I got this fucking salt. I'm trying to trying to drop the salt on him. It's making me t skip my turn going ahead in the librarian. Nice. Uh, let's see. I wanted to get trap sense. Definitely. There we go. And that should be good for those types of skills for now. Now I can start focusing on something better. Fuck me. I forgot. <laughs> I wanted to put a point into that. Oh well. So. So yeah, we let Manfred on our team because he's talking about how how good he is at the game and how he plays it all the time and. Uh, so we're like, okay, sure, whatever. So some time passes, and time for the tournaments rolling up, rolling around. And, you know, we're getting ready to play and everything, and we jump in, and we're doing like a little, almost like a practice thing, you know, just against the AI, just to warm up a little bit, get a feel for the computers, because, you know, they weren't our personal computers or anything, so... Um, as we're as we're sitting around playing like we can just tell this kid is just awful at, at Left 4 Dead like he's he's really bad and like at one point I just kind of stopped playing and I, he was sitting directly to my right and I was just looking at his screen and you know most of the game you have zombies running at you okay well one of them happened to be laying on the ground and it wasn't dead, it was just laying there. And it stood up, like, real slowly, and then it just started running at him, and, like, I was just... He just kind of stopped, and he's just looking at the thing standing up and not just shooting it. And then I look at his face, and his eyes are, like, really big, like he's genuinely terrified. And then he, he starts backing up a little bit in the game, and then he literally just... <laughs> I don't know, he just, had, he just had this terrified look on his face, and then... He basically started to run away, and then he finally shot it. But it was pretty ridiculous. So, tournament actually starts, and he just gets worse and worse. Like, he's just absolutely terrible. Like, we're dragging him through the tournament, kicking and screaming. Um, which, I don't remember how many teams there were. I think there was around, like, 24 teams initially, or something like that. And... 
so we're basically playing with three people and it literally would have been better for us just to play with a bot but we couldn't do that I'll be staff well shit that would pretty much save me from actually making one mm, let me check that oops I always hit the wrong button for that uh there it is Yeah, I might just buy that. I don't know. We'll see. There's that bow staff again tempting me. The dancing lava. That's two wand affinity and one acid. Acid? Acid damage. Uh, there's nothing in here that I want. I do want to sell some shit again, though. Um. Stony wand. I want to sell this thing. This, this piece of shit can get out of my life right now. Okay. What's this? Ah, uh, dead to me. Dead to me. Dead to me. Mm. God damn! I got so much shit. It's mainly because all this up here, and I don't know if I want to get rid of it. Well, I mean, plastic bolts are shit. I don't need those. Copper ones are bad. Um, I want to hang on to those because that loot fist cube that I saw that was guarded. Oh god, I don't even remember where that was. Somewhere. <laughs> Uh, I think it was around here somewhere. Yeah. But I can turn all those into loot fisk, and then I can take them over to one of those loot fisk statues, like right here. Or there's one here, I believe, too. Solution of gold. Let me drink this. Oh. Yay. 20 gold. Uh. Yeah, those are pretty good too. I could sell these traps. Yeah, good enough for now. Let's keep moving. Um, so anyway, back to my story, which is really long and probably really boring, but uh. Okay, so they're right over here. But, yeah. So we're doing this tournament with this little kid. He's really bad at the game. But the funny thing is, like, the first people we played were actually sitting directly behind us. And they had this girl on their team who obviously had never played the game before. So... We were like, oh, okay, well, at least we'll be fairly matched the first game. And when we actually played them, and I mean, it was like, like the three of them had played the game before. But it was like they haven't played a lot. See there, I got a freaking crossbow. I'm glad I didn't buy that one. That's a pretty decent one, too. One piercing damage and two righteous. So, right on. So now I can start using crossbows, if, or <laughs> crossbows, well, crossbow bolts. There we go. can start using those if I need to. Is there anything I want to make better? I could try to make these boots better, but I don't want to risk making them shitty. That thing's pretty decent. Let me throw it on this. So we got two max life added to that. It's not bad. Not great by any means, though. And also, what I'm gonna do is, you know, after I clear the level, I'm gonna stop recording and go through and just pick everything up and sell it at the shops. I'm not gonna make you guys watch that. Oh my god. So, anyway, back to my story. I'm really bad at storytelling. I apologize. So, hmm, can I get that? I don't think I have anything that'll let me. What if I. Will this work? No, okay. Worth a, worth a try. Um, 
so yeah, we play against these people behind us, and they're all like really bad. So we immediately just crash through the first round, and then you know we're all feeling pretty good, and then and then we find out we're gonna be playing the people directly in front of us, and there's kind of a little bit of a downtime in between. So we're talking to one of the guys, and everyone else like went up to use the bathroom or whatever, and this guy's like scaring us. He's like, he's talking about how he's he, you know, he does professional gaming all the time. Like he was in a professional whatnot for Counter Strike, and we're all like, oh man, this guy's gonna destroy us. So we're all like worried, like, well, we're about to lose, and we play against them, and they're they're even worse than the people we played against the first time. But we're just completely smashing them. And the guy that was, like, talking about how awesome he was, like, he was getting so mad when we were playing. And, <laughs> like, he kept, like, hitting the desk in front of him. Like, he was raging pretty hard. And then when it was finally over, like, you know, they, they said good game or whatever. They just conceded. And uh, that guy didn't say anything. He just got up and he literally stormed out of the, uh, the, the room that we were in. And that actually turned into, apparently the guy was, fancied himself a hacker too because, um, they, I'm almost positive it was him because I don't know who else it would have been because he was the only guy we made really angry. Um, but right as we got around to start playing the next round, someone kept um, hijacking our Steam accounts and, you know, making us exit the game or type stuff to other people that we weren't typing, you know, trying to get us kicked out of the tournament, like really, like racist things and I don't know how else to describe it. I don't know, why am I going up here? Uh, where else do I need to go? Let me step on this thing. Okay, here we go. But that went on for the whole rest of the night until they finally figured out that, oh, hey, well, just change your Steam names. And we're like, okay. So we did that, and that worked. But it made the tournament, like, bleed over into the next day, and we didn't want to, like, be stuck in this tournament for a really long time. The morning's elef elephants. Hmm. So let's do this, and Rock One, try that out. Wow, that's pretty damn good damage. Look, he's just running away. He's fucking terrified. <laughs> I got the Destiny of Corn. Uh, gives me two lightning resist. It's pretty crappy for where I am right now. I don't really need that. Whatever. Hang on to it if I need it. So yeah, this tournament went on for oh my god, it went on for like a day and a half, and we were at this place till damn near close to two in the morning. And yeah, I need to go over here. Yeah, we're at the place till like two in the morning, and then we have to get up at like. 10 the next day or something. What the hell? This place is not where I remember it being. Oh, it's down the other way. Uh, no. Let's try this one. How about here? It's a trap! In your face! Alright. Here we go. Uh, no. Also not... Fucking A, man. So yeah, we we actually got all the way to the the semifinals, and this is what happens. Okay, we come in the next day, and we're just straight into the semifinals. So we're all fucking dead tired from being up at two in the morning, you know, in this tournament, and then we have to get up at, and get up and be back there by 10 on Sunday. So, we play the first match, 
and we we completely smash them the first round, and then we go to play as the uh, the survivors because we we rock them as the infected. And I need to get up there, and I think I need to go on this one. Oh my god, whoops. Yeah, here we go. Um, so yeah, we rock them as the infected, and we're going to play as the survivors. Well, then our Steam accounts get hijacked again. Like, this guy just was sitting around waiting for us to play again. And because of this, we had to restart. So when we restarted, naturally the team that we just played against knew our strategy. And they literally, they got like 20 points, like distance-wise. Like, we rocked them right in the beginning. And so now they know our strategy. We played them again, and they literally, they just ran through the entire level, like, which absolutely drives us crazy because that's why I really don't play the game anymore uh, competitively because all you have to do to win when you're a survivor is run through the level as fast as possible and eventually the game's like it freaks out it doesn't know how to keep up with spawning the zombies so once you reach a certain point it stops spawning anything at all because it's you're going too fast it can't keep up with you and and then there's really nothing you could do as an infected to stop somebody from running like that because even if you try to set up one thing there's no other regular infected around so you really can't do anything to stop them so that's what they did and pretty much when they they won the first level like that and then we went to play wow I'm pretty fucked right here unless I explode there it is God damn There it is. All right. About got rocked by some diggles. That was pretty rough. The oncoming earthquake. Hmm. Um, let me eat this steak, which was, I guess, a little pointless when I have a healing spell. Whatever. So yeah, we end up getting rocked in this uh, in this tournament mainly because when we had to change our strategy. Uh, um, Manfred, the little kid on our team, didn't, uh, he couldn't adapt very well, so, and that's being, that's, that's being nice explaining. Um, I wonder if I can somehow get lucky and teleport them. Yes. Experience. Come to me, Diggle. That's it. That's pretty funny. Damn. You need more mana. Uh, so yeah, we got to the semifinals and lost, and we spent like a day and a half in this tournament. And only one team that we played, aside from the, the very last one, actually provided us really any kind of challenge. So we were so mad because right before the tournament started, there was like some adult guy he was like oh man I, I play this game all the time I just need I just need you know a team to play with and we're all like kicking ourselves in the ass because we didn't wait around for like an hour to get this other guy on our team who probably would have been way better so and it really sucked because the uh, the prize was pretty sweet I think they were like um, 40 inch monitors or something like that and they said that they could just UPS them to you like to your home if you couldn't you know, obviously take them back with you because they understand that most people flew to Boston. So, yeah, it pretty much sucked. So we just wasted so much time. We could have been doing other things. So, let this be a lesson to you guys. If you're going into a tournament, don't lie just so you can get on a team and say you're good. At least be honest and say, I'm pretty shitty, but I just want to play. Uh, let's drink some... I don't want to 
drink that because I can turn that into that gut rot stuff. So let's drink some of this. There it is. Let's drink some more of that tasty, tasty new style Pilsner. But since then, we've pretty much rage quit from Left 4 Dead because every time we go to play, it always turns into us bitching about Manfred and then it makes us not want to play the game at all. Plus the fact that since that, everyone's just ran through the levels and hasn't even like actually played the game. Like we even purposely like played slow through the levels just because it's more fun. Like searching for items and you know, actually trying to kill zombies while going from point A to point B. So that game's pretty much ruined as far as I'm concerned. Cause they you know, unless they update it to where it can keep up with people doing that. Because nowadays people don't even, uh, they don't even shoot any of the zombies hardly except for the very first ones outside the starting area. And then they just run and just, you know, do their melee shove to get things away from them. So, is it over here? Yes it is. Good god. Okay. I, I really don't think I want to fight these things up close. I think I remember them being pretty nasty. So, let's use our crossbow. Oh yeah, these guys are pretty beefy. Hero come out to play. <laughs> oh man, when did they get a range attack? Shit. Um, let me eat something here. Spoils. So now we can do things like this. Come on, there we go. Should be able to just leave that up and put that in there. And our softballs. What else do I want to stick in there? May as well throw that in there, it's not worth anything. So now we have a decent amount of loot fisk. Why do I have a trap of my bar? Get rid of that. Uh, what the hell's this thing do? I'm about to just eat this thing. Uh, I'll wait, because it might give me a good buff. Okay, well, let's run up to one of the Luke Fisk statues. That's just gone. Oh. Shoo. Ah, 66 wasn't enough. Really? Okay, somebody said I can turn that into steak or something, so I'm gonna hang on to that. So. Cube of flesh. Oh. Derp. Here we go. Come on. Bastard. 226 lockpicks, eh? Um... Can't separate them. Alright, well... Let's see if 226 more is enough for this fucking thing. Oh my god, you gotta be fucking kidding me. 
No way. Come on, man. Oh, there it is. It took 300. The Harbinger of Sins. Hmm. Two trap affinity. I might carry this thing around with me just for, you know, disabling traps. Probably come up to a trap where I'm not good enough to disarm it. Just slap the shield on real quick and should be able to disarm it no problem. So, that's not too bad. There's another one over here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop recording and run through the level, pick everything up, sell it, turn it into Loot Fisk, whatever, and I'll start recording again over here at this one and see what item I get from that and then we'll head down to level 2. So chances are I'll probably just end the episode here and I'll do all that shit before I start recording again I think. So, as always guys, thank you very much for watching, and I will catch you in the next episode.